Alright guys, we're back with another one and this is the Hayer Chromebook Review. Now this is an exclusive Chromebook to Amazon. Now Amazon, I shop at Amazon all the time. I do a lot of purchases in Amazon. A matter of fact, I spend about thousands per year in Amazon shopping. Now. I'm not going to favor Amazon because they made a Chromebook, but I had to buy it to show you guys, you know, so you guys can see if this hair Chromebook is worth the buy. Now, period, the, the hair Chromebook, it is rocking the rock chip processor, the same processor that's in the Asus Chromebook Flip that's getting a lot of attention right now this Chromebook is pretty much a simple design not too much branding it's just a little name on the side that says hair and your Chrome logo is sitting tall and proud so this is a nice looking Chromebook that you don't mind being in the coffee shop with once you wipe it down for the day you're okay it takes a couple of days to start showing fingerprints and stuff like that so I wouldn't necessarily call it a fingerprint magnet now this is a comfortable Chromebook to hold because you feel secure it has a little bit of grip on it it has a nice feel top and bottom and it definitely has a lot of screws on it Two speakers here at the bottom, four rubbery feet that gives it some good, um, some good, what would you call it, height over the table that you have it on. But it tends to make the speaker sound a little bit muffled. And we're going to give you guys a little listen to that. So once you open up the Chromebook, like I already took the octane score and I got a score of 7109 which is very respectable Chromebooks boot up at a very fast pace um, so either way you have a Chromebook if you get a faster Chromebook it may boot up maybe one or two seconds faster but then they are very fast Chromebooks the screen to me the screen is a very passable screen it's very good 720p it is good I think it has good color good color now the viewing angles tend to dissipate but side angles are pretty good pretty good so I give it I give it some good marks in the side angle but top and bottom, it may it, it may fade a little bit. It may fade a little bit. But overall, it's a solid Chromebook for the price. Now I can definitely do without the way this plastic is around the keyboard and stuff. So the way the plastic is, is I guess they wanted to give a a, a certain look, but it's definitely reflective. And is definitely a little on the sticky side so I don't really prefer this even though at first in the unboxing video I think it was an okay look so this plastic I don't feel too much now the keyboard it's a very solid keyboard it works it's a little slimmer than on other Chromebooks that I've used but the key all the keys are there and it's cool now the trackpad pretty clicky trackpad but which you know with Chrome you don't have to you know click it hard it'll be alright it'll be alright you don't have to click it hard so you don't necessarily have to do that click on a Chromebook so the clickiness is definitely passable now the way the trackpad feel and the way I like my trackpads, I like it to have a little bit of roughness. 
because I don't like a sticky feeling trackpad and this is definitely not a tricky feeling trackpad now is it the best trackpad no because I'm already feeling better ones out there but it's not bad not bad at all it's not a bad trackpad so definitely the trackpad is good the keyboard is good and you can see by me changing all the different screens the screens are definitely it definitely is a good screen it's not bad 720p but it's a matte screen it's not a glossy screen you're not gonna get that reflection in the Sun but you're not gonna get that glassy look but it's a very good screen for the price of this Chromebook now it's rocking that rock chip processor, 2 gigs of RAM, 16 gigs of store, 16 gigs of SSD storage. So it Chromebooks, you don't need a lot of storage and stuff like that. And this is, I always say, with a price at this price point, this is a secondary Chromebook in the household. And now if you're really into Chrome OS. This is the Chromebook that you use with reckless abandonment. This might be the Chromebook you get for the child in the family. That's you don't want them, they're not gonna do too much but surf the web. This is for grandma, this is to pay some bills on and stuff like that. Now, if you're really into Chromebooks and you've used Chromebooks in the past and you need something but you don't have a Chromebook right now and you want something strong this is not the Chromebook for you this is the secondary Chromebook this is the Chromebook you throw in the bag this is the Chromebook you have visitors come use and abuse and stuff like that you may want a better Chromebook maybe in the three four five hundred dollar range with a little bit more processing power a little bit more ram that might be the chromebook for you so this this chromebook is definitely a pass for a secondary chromebook this is a chromebook for you cheap people out there who don't want to spend a lot of money and always looking for the cheapest of the cheap well, guess what? You'll be okay with this, but know what you're getting. You're going to have a little bit of stutter. You know, you're going to have this stickiness right over here. But the trackpad is, and the keyboard is overall good. But if you like this look, then you don't mind how that plastic feels. But overall, it's a real good device now you guys can see right here these rubbers around the Chromebook now there's rubber around the Chromebook around the top so when you close the lid your screen doesn't get damaged a lot of people you know you might be doing something secretive in front of the wife and you need to close that Chromebook real fast you don't have to worry about damaging anything because you have this protective rubber now the if you're trying to do some web chat and you want people to see you nice and clear this may not be the Chromebook for you because this is given a resolution of not HD this is given a res resolution of 7 sorry of 480p if that it does look a little grainy but it's clear enough so people can know who you are it is clear enough it is good enough to have a decent web chat or if you're doing Google Hangouts and you're gonna put it on YouTube it's probably gonna go just as high as 480 it's not HD it doesn't say it's HD and it's probably not HD so very comfortable Chromebook for the price speaker is a little bit muffled and I'll give you a short preview of that so you're hearing the sound the screen is hundred percent up the volume hundred percent up it sounds a little muffled you know it sounds like 
it sounds like music that you trap with your, with your palm, like how you hold your phone and you make a cup. That's kind of like what it sounds like with the speakers and the sound. So in a noisy pub, in a no, sorry, a noisy coffee shop, you may not even hear your Chromebook. You definitely better carry some headphones with these Chromebook. But in a your office, in a quiet place, a small room, you can definitely you can definitely hear the, this Chromebook. But in a coffee shop, a loud coffee shop, you're gonna have trouble hearing it. In a big library, you, you should be able to hear it because libraries are normally quiet. But you gotta be cautious of what where you're gonna enter. It's not crazy sound, but it's not terrible. It's okay. If you're gonna put it on your lap, you probably won't hear it. If you wear it, if you put it on your lap, you're definitely not gonna hear it depending on how you position it. Because the speakers where they're positioned is gonna be the issue. So pretty much with that guys, rock chip processor, two gigs of RAM. It has a little stutter in its step, but not a bad Chromebook at all absolutely not a bad Chromebook is it worth the 150 definitely definitely worth the 150 but if you want to see my video then I'm gonna put out the battle of the budget Chromebooks you definitely might want to take a look at that before purchasing this Chromebook but you definitely won't go wrong like I said this is the throwaway device if you're trying out Chrome for the first time, you don't want to invest a lot of money, yes, you can get this. But if you fall in love with Chrome, like most people do, you won't be keeping this for long. This will become the secondary device almost instantly. So with that, guys, this is the review of the Hair Chromebook webcam, not HD screen uh barely hd not too bad color representation is good keyboard trackpad is on point not the best but it's definitely on point the trackpad is is better than good and it has some grip and you can use this with some reckless abandonment so not a bad chromebook but you definitely might think about upgrading if you fall in love with Chrome OS like people like me. So with that guys, hey, see you guys in the next one.